for today's live stream. I'm going to show you from start to finish how to create a seamless repeating surface pattern in Illustrator. I'm going to start off in Adobe Express making a mood board. I'm making a fall themed like autumnal pattern. I'm using Adobe Firefly kind of to assist nice. me in brainstorming some ideas. I'll type it into the text description and AI will generate like a fall themed image for us. I'm going to run with this one as a part of my mood board. And now I'm going to just scale this down and going to leverage some stock images just so I have some like good reference images to pull from. So right okay. now I'm just pulling colors from my mood board just to kind of like get a color palette going. I'm going to download it as a PNG and bring it into Illustrator. I'm just going to drop our colors and our swatches. All right, so I am just drawing a mushroom now based on my mood board, my reference art. Maybe I should draw a pumpkin. Right now I'm just kind of drawing in some texture. So yeah, let's say like I was happy with these icons and like I was ready to start laying out my, my pattern. You want to kind of arrange them in the shape of a hexagon. Pull from your shapes tool, the polygon tool. I can kind of make some adjustments and just make sure that they're in the shape of the hexagon. So I'm going to remove that and then I will select all, go to object, pattern, make. The Illustrator automatically generates this pattern and it looks kind of chaotic, but I'm going to kind of rein it in. You have a few options to pick from. You have a grid. I'm going to use the hex by column. And then I'm just going to space nice. out my icons a bit. And what's great about this is that you have a live preview and I can also adjust these individual icons. So if I'm moving this red leaf, you'll see that like the nice. red leaf is also being moved like throughout the pattern. So then when mm. you're done, you can just click out of that double tap. Oops. It automatically makes a pattern swatch for you in the swatches. And then there you go. You have this really cool like repeating pattern. Yeah. I'm going to show you some different color options with the new feature in Illustrator, the recolor tool, the generative recolor tool. And they actually built a toolbar like right in here. So I can just click recolor, generative recolor. You can type in your own prompt. So you can say pumpkin spice wonderland. It's kind of fun to see them as, as options, mm. right? Let's say we just wanted to make a scattered leaf pattern. I'm going to select all my leaves and then go object transform transform each, make some adjustments, maybe horizontal, vertical, hit random, and it kind of randomizes hmm. everything and it slowly kind of becomes this That's like cool. swirling leaf. So That's if cool. I wanted to make this repeating, I would hang some of my elements off to the left as well as the right. I want to make sure that they continue on to the other side. So I'm going to go to object, transform, move, I'm going to move it 17 inches across because that's the width of my artboard, zero, and then press copy. Take the elements from the top and do the same thing. And just do object, transform, move. I want to <laughs> do my uh, vertical, 12, copy. Let's put a background color behind it. Let's go 17 by 12, send it all the way to the back. We nice. want to add another box. So I'm just going to copy, paste it in the same place and make sure that it has no stroke and no fill. And I'm going to send it all the way to the back. I'm going to select everything and drop it into my swatches panel. No Keep pressure. No Keeping pressure. us on our tones, the suspense, the suspense. Way, Here it is in your swatches panel. <laughs> it's a repeating pattern of scattered leaves. Thank you so much. It's been awesome to have you. So until next time, my friends, we'll see you very shortly and uh, stay safe. Ciao. Right. Bye. See you next time. Bye.